So I've had my breakfast. I've done my skincare. You guys missed that part. Sorry. And now I have to rush to get out the door so I can go and have my last brow session. I have to get some uh, areas touched up. And I don't know. I feel like this one needs to be brought down just a bit. Like when you look full on, it kind of looks like this one is lacking just a little bit more length. So I don't know. I think that's probably what I'm going to do is have my brow specialist take a look into that when, yeah, it, it feels shorter. Hmm. And then after I have my brows touched up, I must, must hit the Sephora seal. Even though there's hardly anything that I need, it's all of the wants. So I would feel so left out if I did not shop that sale. I swear, and I'm rouge, like I shop there. This is what I do for me to have earned that status. So yeah, and oh my gosh, these little, Y'all, I thought that my box of these, when I first bought it, I thought that they had gone like bad or um, or that they had um, like dried out. I'm used to, and I cannot get this off my finger. I'm used to the under eye masks being wet. And when I saw that these were not wet, but just sticky, I'm like, okay, Somebody gave me the wrong batch, but apparently these are sticky. So I'm like, that was good to know before I went and embarrassed myself at Sephora and took them back. Like you guys are selling expired dried out face masks. So yeah, that is that. I probably should look into a facial. I don't know. Like when I was younger, I had absolutely no acne, like nowhere ever. I would say not even so much just when I was younger, maybe like a few months ago. And now kind of reaching that, that new portion of my life, perimenopause, girl, my face, I, I feel like a teenager. Well, not in energy, but in my face, like, I'm I'm going to need this to go. Like what what are these and how 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 do I get rid of them? Now I need to get dressed because I am running late for my brow appointment and see where the day takes us. I am so upset. My iron broke. I thought I was going to be cute, but yeah, my iron broke my steamer is uncooperative at the moment so oh and then the weather it's like 20 degrees cooler than it was yesterday and the day before that so the outfit that i wanted to wear it's a no-go no it's not gonna work so i am sol and this was not the vibe I was going for today. I feel like every time I go to have my brows done, I have on a North Face sweatshirt. But it's a different color. I got several of them when I went to Colorado. And they're just so warm and comfy. Especially given the fact that the weather has decided to go back to mid-February temps and we're now in April so yeah and I'm just going to put some sunscreen on not going to apply any makeup 
because I don't want her to have to do too much to kind of sanitize my face for my brows. So, I mean, I guess I could have like put some on down below my brows, but no, we're going bare clean face today. And this sunscreen, it's by It Cosmetics. All right, so my camera cut off while I was talking to you guys about the Hello Sunshine It Cosmetics um, Invisible Hydrating Serum Sunscreen 50 SPF. Um, super good. And now I'm rambling and rushing because now I got to go before I miss my appointment. But what I did put on my lips, um, I was talking through all of this and like I could not tell that my camera had just zoned out. It didn't even die. It just zoned out. Anywho, so this is a hydrating kind of glossy, dewy lipstick lip balm by Sephora's collection. I can't even read the name of it because it's so small, but just know, depending on when you're watching this, they actually have it on sale now, 30% off for the Sephora savings event. And uh, scent for the day is by Forever Mood. This is I Am Her, and when I tell you guys this scent is amazing and i'm not just saying that like this is a very dainty and mild fragrant gourmand that dries down really nice and it's one of those long lasting scents you kind of have to get up on the person in order to smell it like throughout the evening lastly i wanted to share with you guys that i'm possibly going to wear today is this super cute afro puff bun braid friendly hat um i picked this up so when i get my brows done i won't be in these streets looking like Bert and ernie by the eyebrows like i did the first time when i originally had them done so it's kind of satin lined and i got this during black history month at target you just put it on like such it has a little snap of rooming and you out in the streets and nobody even knows your business. I love that for me. But now let me get out the door because thanks to my camera, I've wasted an additional 15 minutes when I could have been gone already. I'm here in Sephora doing girl math. My brow appointment got rescheduled. Um, my brow tech, she's actually out of the state. So instead of me going home, I said, hey, that money was already spent and accounted for to have my brows done. Um, so, or not done, but filled in. So I might as well just spend it in Sephora. It was out of my pocket anyway, right? And besides the sale that they have going on, it made zero sense for me to go home knowing I had to go past Sephora and not stop in. So, y'all, I'm mad though because I have not seen the Jackie Ina perfumes in here so I could possibly buy one or at least smell the other three fragrances that I don't own. So that's a bummer. So, of course, I have to still spend money. That's what I do. These are amazing. When I say, oh, Lord, my hand was all up. These are freaking amazing.
Ooh, I love a good eucalyptus smelling item. It smells nice. seen much from Too Faced recently, which is kind of a bummer, like their brand was so fun at one point, but I haven't seen much. Good morning. I'm Will. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you. Just getting started on this Friday, finally. This is my Friday <laughs> as well. Thank goodness. Right? It's a long week. <laughs> what are your plans for the weekend? Absolutely nothing. Sounds, got, sounds got, fair. Got, got to catch up on <laughs> some rest and some laundry. That's about it. <laughs> you sound like me. I just threw a load in before I left. Like, I you know what? To. My life is just so boring. <laughs> I know. Why literally? I... I don't do anything. It's so boring, and I feel so bad for my girlfriend and I. Like, we don't do anything. Aww, but you live in Vegas. We were born and raised here, so we. Yeah. Well, anyway, hopefully you guys okay, settled so on the place yeah. right away. Well, I kind of have this coffee. super sweet latte that I should have passed on, but you like a water or something. Or do you want me to get you some fresh coffee instead? No, I'm okay. There's some coffee in the latte to cut the sweetness. Exactly right. No, I think I'm okay on that. Okay. I'm just going to grab like a small appetizer and just kind of stopping through um, in between my appointments. So, yeah, sure. where is that? Where do you guys sell it? Fried calamari? Yes, it'd be a second page from the fry.
I am so tired, y'all. So, as y'all saw, I, in good faith, I made it out the door on time for my brow appointment. Like, I don't know, today was just like a, a freaky Friday of sorts. So I'm vlogging, right? And I'm like in my groove, I'm getting a good vlog going. And <laughs> something was like, look at your camera. Look at the camera. The camera is not even feeling me. Like it wasn't that it cut off, the battery didn't die. I pressed record and all of a sudden I look up and nothing recorded, nothing at all. So weird. So I end up having to rush and call my Uber so I could make it to my brow appointment. I literally only had like 15 minutes and it was all the way on the other side of town. And they're like, if you are not on time, it's like a whole big deal, cancellation fee, all of this. I wasn't for, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I was not here for that. So called Uber, rushing down the stairs, almost fell down the stairs, which would have been a mess. See the name of the Uber driver. I always like to try and, you know, open their door and be like, hi, David, or hi, Jen, before I get in these people's vehicles, right? They're not taxi cab drivers. So I opened the door and I literally saw the name clear as day. Hi, Jennifer. And she's looking at me like, who the hell is Jennifer? Girl, her name was Heather. <laughs> I never do that. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like I'm having a morning, I'm rushing, I'm doing all the things, blah, 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 blah. So we get in or I get in. She's like, your appointment, it's nine minutes away. So you should be good. And I'm like, nine minutes away? I'm totally on the other side of town. Like it's not nine minutes. We're talking more like 17 to 20 minutes, but I'm rolling with it. Cause I'm like, perfect this way, I'm not late. We pull up to this address and I'm like, Heather, where do, you, where do you have me, girl? And she goes, it's the address that you put down on your, your ride. So I'm looking at her screen and I'm like, it is. But here was the freaky thing about it. I wanted her to take me to like 4760, right? 4760 will say South Elm Street. It told her to take me to that particular location where she took me to. I saw it on the map. Girl, it wasn't even 4760 nothing. It was like 1825. And I'm like, how did we end up here? So now I'm definitely freaking out because I want this brow elongated a little bit more. I'm like, I don't want to have to pay the cancellation fee and I don't want to mess up my relationship with the, you know, with my brow tech. So she goes, well, call your brow tech, let her know what happened and let her know we're trying to get you to your appointment. I look at my phone, my phone is, or my phone has a message from my brow tech. Like, girl, I'm so sorry. I forgot about our appointment. I'm actually out of town. So I'm like, okay, at this point, what do I do, Lord? What do I do with this information? Of course, it, it always only makes sense. You're stressed, you're bored, you need stuff. You don't need stuff. Just Sephora always makes it make sense for me. So of course the sale Sephora savings event is here. If you guys haven't already, make sure to look at my recommendations for this year. So I'm Rouge, right? Which means I get 20% off from April 5th through April 15th, I think it is. And they also, for that same period, they have like the Sephora collection on sale for 30% off. So I'm just going to show you guys a few of the things that I got. Y'all, I am tired. I like literally just got in the door. Today has been a day and I'm thinking of still doing a video. I don't know, I'll have to see if I have the energy for it. If not, I'll probably do one tomorrow. 
Oh, and then I left out, I took myself to lunch, which was nice. It was okay, but it was more or less like, I'm not ready to go back in the house. So even though I had literally just had breakfast, like not even an hour, hour and a half before I had lunch, I was like, let me, let, let me grab something light to bite on. I end up bringing the majority of it home. So I'm just gonna give it to my son when he gets out of school. He knows typically on Fridays, mom got something good. She went out, she's done something. She has hit up some restaurant by Sephora, which I did. So I'm just gonna give him that for lunch when he gets in. But my Sephora haul, so to speak, is, let's see here. So I got some Clinique Take the Day Off cleansing towelettes, which I desperately needed because I'm out. I really like to try and do just like the serums or like the cleaning balms and not so much the towelettes, but I'm not gonna lie. Every now and again, I get lazy and I don't wanna have to scrub it out of towels, all of the makeup and stuff. So yeah, I got these. They were normally $21 for a pack of 50, but I got them for $16.80 with my 20% off. And then I got this, which I'm super excited about. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting to try this forever, but I didn't quite know like how you use it. So I stood in Sephora, watched a tutorial, <laughs> on it and then i was like okay i feel confident enough to buy it so i got the danessa myrick's yummy skin blurring balm powder in shade number nine and when i tell you the shade is amazing mm. so this one was what is this 35 35 or 36 dollars i got it 20 percent off 28 dollars and 80 cent and then I have some Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade 75 Hazelnut. So it's like a multi-purpose um, baking face powder that you could also use for like bronzing. So this one was, so for this one, they had it 50% off, just off top. And then they took an additional 30% off for the Sephora collection sale. So it brought it down to $4.90 when shopping makes sense, right? $4.90. And then I got, now this I've been seeing a lot of tutorials on. So I was like, well, let me try it. I, I wanna see if it works for me. I got Tower 28 Serum, uh, what is this? Concealer in the shade 15.0. This one was $22 and I got it for $17.60. And then I got these. I love these. I love these. You guys may have seen them in another part of this vlog, but I love these. These are the Sephora Collection Rouge Liqueur Lipsticks or Lip Balms. $5 because they've been on clearance forever. $5, but with the additional 30% off, I got them for $3.50 each. And then I got a Sephora Pro 2.0 Bronzer Brush. I'm let me just show you guys. I'm so excited about this brush. It was originally $34, 30% off. I got it for $23. Like I'm so excited. It is so soft and fluffy. Oh my gosh. Like the bronzer game is about to be stepped all the way up. I cannot wait to use this. So, yep, that is my haul. Of that relationship. Do you and see it on here? Really, it's really defense mm. forces. Now say they fired two officers over this. That is insane. This is 
where the largest earthquakes on these coasts occurred in the last century. So I immediately directed my emergency management team the second eight. we received word of this to start doing damage assessments, uh, any life in danger, and finding out whether there's any bridges or tunnels that are compromised. And so uh, that was the first thing that we did from uh, mm -hmm. our team. I was really that close. My people were saying it was cold. It was cold enough. It was just like 80 degrees yesterday. We also spoke to the MTA to ensure the integrity, the structural integrity of the subway system, the Port Authority, and I want to announce that right now JFK and New York airports are in full ground stops to assess uh, any potential. You want some any poo poo? I'm out poo poo. <laughs> Come on. Uh, sure that the she the oh, baby. Oh, 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 Thank you, Governor. I want to reiterate that we have no reports of damage at this time. That is insane. Uh, this, what, I mean, like, seriously? Activated their policies and Weather and all these that? Because random events. Event, this? Mm -hmm. It's, um, yeah, it's supposed to be a cookie butter form. latte, yeah. but uh, there's... It's like I'm trying to rock with them because I do like their little rewards. But after drinking Starbucks for so long, these are really sweet, like too sweet, and then it's very thick, like it was pre-made. Like that powder, and they just put milk. Good for waking you up. Great stress reliever scent. This is Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Stress Relief with Eucalyptus and Spearmint.